Don't you just hate this? But why does it happen? To answer that, we need to journey back in time. Remember this sound? In the old days, back in the 20th century, people connected to the internet via dial-up using a telephone network made up of copper wire. Technology dating back to the 19th century, it was slow and unreliable. And you couldn't use the phone when you were online. Timmy, get off the internet. I'm expecting a call. Mom! You probably don't hear this very often anymore. And you probably don't miss it. But how did we go from this to this? In most of America, dial-up internet connections have been replaced with high-speed or broadband internet. Broadband could be the internet connection you use on your desktop computer at work, your laptop at the coffee shop, or your smartphone or tablet anywhere. From business, to healthcare, to education, to keeping in touch with family and friends, our society relies on the speed and convenience of broadband. Broadband infrastructure is becoming just as important as traditional infrastructure, like roads and bridges, for keeping our society running smoothly. But demand for broadband is still growing. As of 2012, there were almost twice as many internet-connected devices on the planet as people. By 2017, that will become three to one. And internet network traffic is expected to double. If our broadband infrastructure isn't upgraded to meet increasing needs, you could be seeing a lot more of this. Here in Ohio, members of the telecom industry invest $1 billion annually in improvements to the state's network infrastructure constantly making upgrades to meet demand. Besides improving access to high-speed internet service, that investment boosts our economy and creates jobs. So the next time you go online, take a minute to think about how we went from this to this, and think about how broadband will continue to change the way we all live, work, and play.